Ah, oh, all right. Hello, my fine friends. How are you all doing today? I myself am doing rather well. You know, kind of excited that we have our second big company win within such a short amount of time. You know, hot off of the trail of Goya, um, who took a stance against the. Uh, well, not exactly took a stance against woke culture, but uh, definitely stood behind uh, their remarks uh, that were not really praise for Trump, but, uh, you know, were, were pleasant conversation. They weren't disparaging him and they weren't, uh, you know, filling his ass with hot air or anything. So, uh, Red Bull, as many of you know, may know by now, has fired two high two executive two woke leaning executives uh, recently so now we have uh, woke culture getting shut down in companies as well which is quite a nice change of pace from hearing someone get fired over you know liking a tweet or things of that nature although it, from the sounds of it it did take some time for this Stuff to happen as well um, before I get into the article I do want to say nobody was complaining about the face cam uh, in, in the last video so I, I think I'll try it out and see how it goes for the next few videos and uh, I think it's working out maybe uh, once again someone might mention it later on but uh, let's get to it so, despite woke pressure, Red Bull stands its ground. Red Bull doesn't tolerate racism, but it also will not take orders from the social justice mob, which is a very good stance, I would say, because a lot of people confuse that uh, if you stand with this ideal, you automatically will stand with this one. Uh, there's no s neutrality or center to... Uh, to this discourse you are either on one side or the other uh, you can't both hate r racism and like white people because those two are somehow uh, not mutually exclusive to some people and it's just absurd the randomness that uh, they'll take these ideas to as well you know all right Back in February, Florian Klaus, uh, class, class, Klaus, global head of music, entertainment, and cultural marketing for the Austrian energy drink company, came under fire when he gave a presentation that included a slide with a map of the world through American eyes. For instance, an arrow pointed to the Middle Eastern region with the words bombs go here while China was labeled they make our stuff and Africa read zoo animals come from here, according to Business Insider. Now, if this was a joke, I would gladly laugh along with them, but it's never that clear cut. This was obviously made to, you know, disparage Americans because uh, there is a certain type of class of American who is very ignorant of the world outside of uh, of America. Even though they have the internet access nowadays, there's still people who, uh, you know, call uh, any Hispanic they see uh, automatically Mexican, uh, things like that. Now, a lot of us are a little more educated than that. I myself, you know, know Africa not as the place that uh, zoo animals come from, but the place with white genocide happening. After the death of George Floyd, and in the midst of the protests that followed, more than 300 Red Bull employees signed a June 1 letter titled Representation Matters at uh, Red Bull, which called out the company's public silence on the Black Lives Matter movement which they shouldn't be getting involved in. They're an energy drink company. Absolutely insane that uh, they, these people try to push that kind of stuff within the company itself. Uh, public silence on the Black Lives Matter movement and asked what public stance and actions it planned. 
According to the company, the two executives behind the effort, CEO of North America, Stefan Kozak, and uh, Amy Taylor, North American president and chief marketing officer, then leaked the letter and the offensive slide to the media. So rather than continuing on to do their jobs, they plug their ears and start crying, what racism, because they, the company, didn't exactly do what they wanted it to do. This is just par for the course for them, really. Anytime they don't get what they want, they uh, leak it towards the internet so that they can build up a proper outrage uh, against uh, whoever's in charge or whoever they're trying to shut down. In response, the company fired a Klaus at the creator of the slide in question, but they also fired Kozak and Taylor for leaking the letter and image to the press, which is a very Bravo type of move, you know. Uh, I raise, uh, I, I clap my hands together for them, really. Down here, we reject racism in every form. We always have and we always will, the board said in the statement. Red Bull has always put people and their dreams and accomplishments at the cores and values that contribute of each and, and every person. So many ands right there. Uh, you can make a drinking competition out of that one sentence. No matter who they are, we want everyone who feels the way to this way to become to be welcome in Red Bull. Sorry, I can't read today. According to Business Insider, both Kozak and Taylor had rob lobbied, eh, lobbied for more diversity in recent weeks. Taylor, who had been with Red Bull America for 20 years, you know, working at a company that long, you'd think they would know how to do their job and not really waste so much time and effort on diversity quotas and things of that nature. Uh, doo -doo -doo. The effort was reportedly met with a lack of interest from comp the company's le Austrian leadership. You know, and why should they really uh, focus on that? It's not going to help the company. In fact, if they re in institute a uh, racial quota and then you fill it up with people who are just there to fill that racial quota, they will not have to do any real work to get anything done. Therefore, you're just signing paychecks for useless people just to get some uh, arbitrary number up. According to the Business Insider, both Kozak and Taylor had lobbied for diversity in recent weeks. Taylor, who had been... Oh, did I just read that? Yes. As for Klaus, uh, Red Bull told the New York Post that the company was eliminating his position to refocus its cultural activities, including discontinuing many of them. Again, which isn't a bad move, especially in these times when money is kind of uncertain and things of that nature although i don't i haven't really heard of people stop but stocking up on red bull and things of that nature uh water should come first but there are some people out there who will value their caffeine uh, more highly than water that's for sure red bull is owned by austrian billionaire dietrich matic matisic matic i'm so sorry for butchering your name, who had expressed support for Trump, uh, President Trump rallied against intellectual elites and political correctness and criticized Germany and Austria's lenient policies on accepting refugees. Which is something I applaud once again because, yes, these people come in, take advantage of your co economy, and bring nothing to it except uh, more uh, stress, uh, especially when they don't assimilate. But that's a whole other topic that I really shouldn't get into. Uh, this video was mostly just to applaud Red Bull for firing these two woke executives 
uh, once again, they don't really bring anything to the table. So why should they, they be kept? It really is insane just how much clout uh, and uh, prestige these people get within the companies and then they throw it all away just so that they can try to make themselves look a little better or generally that should be the case that it should happen most of the time these people stay in their positions of power because they've just uh, they've never really earned it but uh, they've cried long enough that they're just like fine we'll just leave you there and you could have whatever diversity you can get and things of that nature just crazy and I'm glad to, to see some pushback on this. Uh, I'm not much of an energy drinker myself, so, but uh, I can see myself raising a can of Red Bull in, pretty soon. Anyways, that about does it for this video. I'd like to thank you for joining me and watching it. If you enjoy my content, go ahead and leave a like. Um, possibly even subscribe because I do a lot more videos like this. Um, maybe the format's not quite for you the format's not quite for you so go ahead and leave a comment down below on how i can improve um i change it up every once in a while and uh, once again the little face cam thing is new so far i haven't gotten any negative feedback on it so that's surely a good sign right so um but that's not the only type of comments you can leave down below of course um, if you have your own thoughts on whether you want to support Red Bull yourself, go ahead and leave those down below as well. And that does it for me. I hope you guys will have a great day and take care.